Are you all ready for this wonderful game? Let's go! Let's go for the new game! I I repeat, I promise! Let's go! <laughs> I hear the soft voice of a girl singing a Christmas song. It's just one of my classmates trying to set the right mood. Though, she sounds a little off-key. The bus shakes slightly and makes me sleepy. Yes, I'm on the bus right now. All the classmates in my year are on a little Christmas trip. We are going to see the wonderful snowy mountains, rest in cozy vacation houses, go skiing, skating, and... Do much more! Mr. Bennett was very convincing about the trip last week even though I don't remember he pas his passion passionate speech anymore. To my right, Kevin... Ah! I'm sorry, Kevin! Okay, Kevin tries to concentrate on reading something off, off of his phone screen. I tried to join him but quickly fell victim to motion sickness. Vincent uh, sat somewhere in the front of the bus. I can't even see him. Why is he on the front of the bus? Chris, on the other hand, took a seat in the very back row. Why? Why are they so apart? Nobody was brave enough to sit next to him. I think he still has that delinquent aura surrounding him. <laughs> Not that he minds. Judging from the three si seats, he has all to himself to lie down. Oh, that's why. Okay. Samantha had to stay in the city. Yes! Samantha, you are gone! <laughs> An otaku game that, fix that makes you get, get a fanboy boner. <laughs> this makes me happy. Yay! It's great that she's gonna celebrate with her family. <laughs> her. <laughs> Though I wouldn't mind getting under the mistletoe with her during the trip. Scott! <laughs> I feel this I feel the bus slowly accelerating. And I want and, and I and I want to sleep so much. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of snow. Yeah, really. I miss snowy winters. Now I can hear two voices. It's a girls duo. I smile warmly. I always love Christmas. You do? Everyone around looks very happy as the decorated city shines brightly with Christmas lights and neons. It's as if I walk into a picturesque fairy tale. There's something about the magic of the season that makes you want to believe in miracles, no matter how old you are. Christmas was, al was always the most an anticipated and beloved celebration for me. We went out shopping, we laughed, decorated our house, and always took a long time to, to, to decide on the right Christmas tree. And of course, gifts! <laughs> I remember it mostly as a celebration for two. The, the world shrank down to the size of our room, and no one else existed in it. Just me and mom. <laughs> Foreshadow. Fluff, fluffy snow fell down on the other side of the window. We sat in front of our table, cut the turkey, and thought that life was great. <laughs> if only this year, too. Yes, don't spoil, please. <laughs> don't spoil. If only this year, too. No. Stop it, Scott! I'm here in- I'm here- I'm happy enough- sorry. I'm happy enough that I can celebrate with my friends. And she will not be alone. And probably will be even happier without me. Oh, it's Kevin! Are you sleep? are you asleep? Get up! Get up! It's about- it's been two minutes since we reached our destination. Oh, hello! Wow, it's so beautiful here! Pretty much like a winter wonderland! I can feel the Christmas spirit all around me. I, s I see ne neat timber houses, clearly modern built but made to look like they're old and decorated for Christmas with colorful lights. The snow covering the top of the roofs spar sp sparkle under midday sun. In my head, I picture lots of things from a romantic winter holiday to Santa Claus, Santa Claus Village. Really childish, right? It is! I love white Christmas. Help me, I can't leave until it's finished. <laughs> yes, you're gonna love this. You will never get away from this. <laughs> My eyes finally got used to the bright snow, and I'm able to see the dark shape of the forest further away. Trees are beautifully clothed in snow, snow, snow coats and hats. They tower up, tower up on, those, on houses, making an unforgettable view. Oh, hello, Mr. Bennett. You look sexy today. <laughs> Scott, maybe you can at least pretend you're listening to your teacher. Eh! Oh! What? I'm listening! <laughs> you... You sure... Who said that? You sure, Scott? 
Remember how he fell asleep in class? Or literature class when he... They're all laughing at me. Hey, stop laughing at me. I know Mr. Bennett is boring, but give me a chance. <laughs> Damn, I really need to pretend I'm sleep and listening. Okay, next is the skiing lodge. You can get get to you can get to it using the cable car. It's not it's not fast, so make sure to get to get lined up for the queue well in advance. Awesome! We came here to freeze our asses in the queues. Be careful with what you wish for, David. Yeah, David! Be careful what you wish for. Maybe you'll get a frozen ass. <laughs> now, here's the ice rink. You can rent skates in the same place as the, as the skis. Next is... I love I love skiing! I was quite good in my childhood and, my, and mom used to spend whole days teaching me. She was so happy when I didn't fall for the first time. This place is off limits. Huh? We visited similar resorts when she had... When she had her vacation days, it was a lot of fun. At least as long as we went together. And the forest ranges. And then he appeared, and then he appeared and took my mom away from me. Do I have the right to feel that way? Scott! Scott! Listen! To your teacher, okay? At least pay attention. He didn't, he didn't steal her from my dad. He stole her, he stole her from me. I I wonder what would have happened if Dad still lived with us. We would have, we would have one more, one more, one more, <laughs> one more, one more place set on the table. We would, he would bring the Christmas tree and Mom would cook tasty food. I would de decorate the house. Today, today. Huh? <laughs> we will be just like an average family from those TV commercials. Look how happy we are. This product will make you as fake as us. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Vincent! Scott? What's wrong? What? Is something wrong? Wait, I'm standing still while others went quite far. Fletcher, you're not listening again. Are you feeling okay? If you're sick, you can wait at the hall. Stay with everyone. Stay with everyone. What will happen if we stay with everybody? <laughs> no, it's all right. Sorry, I won't drift, drift off anymore. I find that hard to believe. Okay, let's save this just in case. Save. Save. We're gonna save this just in case. <clears throat> Are we clear with activities? Let's keep to today to minimum. Check in, eat, then we can find our Christmas tree. Can we ch even chop one down? Isn't it legal? They, they, they have some sort of uh, sort if if man sort of license I had. It's horrible. Why do we need to chop down a poor tree? It's better in the forest. Oh, oh, come on. What about Christmas spirit? Turkey gives the tree. That's important, you know. That's illegal, you know. <laughs> There are fake trees. In that case, you're good. You're getting a fake gift. You prepared a gift for me? All right, kids. Leave that for later. As for tomorrow and the day after, try to enjoy seasonal activities. Skiing, skating, sleighs, snowboarding. I can't hear your happy shouting. Woohoo! I'm so happy! <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I would react to being a fangirl, but my heart died because Yuki killed me. <laughs> I'm fucked, someone help me. <laughs> you can't leave until this dream is over. Me, wake me up inside. <laughs> okay. Yeah, happy, my ass. Such enthusiasm. Make sure you're not staying like. So I staying like this until Christmas or your or or you're going to ruin the mood with your deadpan looks. Day after tomorrow evening. After a short lecture about Christmas origins, traditions and other non-important things, Mr. Bennett explained how we are supposed to check in. Most rooms are for two people, however, there are some for three. Teacher will, of course, have his own private room. Oh really? <laughs> We're, we're allowed to choose our roommates. <gasps> really? Vincent.
himself and I and I of course accept Really? So I get Vincent in that choice I get Vincent so I guess we'll get Vincent in this route our room is number three it's a tidy room with two beds, two nightstands, and a large wardrobe for clothes. Above the beds hangs, I think, I think the two most comprehensive definitions for our room are cozy and comfortable. Awesome! That, awesome that we were able to get in the same room. <laughs> I'm so glad too. <laughs> Why? Why? Why what? You don't like it? No, it's fine. I mean, we live together in the school dorms. It's it's normal. <laughs> yes, but I'm still happy. I can see the blush on your cheeks. <laughs> Maybe he dislikes having to sleep in the same room with someone he's not used to. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. Or maybe he just wants to sleep with you. <laughs> when I was assigned to his room in the dorm, he was fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably he's just you he's just used to me. He's just used to you. You guys slept together. That's why. <laughs> Actually, I feel the same attach attachment to him. <laughs> Shit! I've been standing in the middle of the room for a couple of minutes and almost forgot something important. I flop on my bed with my entire weight, gotta test its toughness, springiness, and other important bed qualities. Awesome! Do you want to sleep? No, no! I just want- I just had to do it! Vin- Vincent looks at me skeptically and goes back to unpacking. Does he not understand the beauty of the very first try of a new bed? I need to teach him to how to enjoy simple things in life. It's been a while since I ate so, so much and such a good food! After dinner, Chris Vin Chris Vince and I went out to look for a Christmas tree. Some other guys from the class also came with us. Mr. Bennett and a resort employee escorted us. It sure gets dark early in winter. I thought we could choose any tree, but it turned out to be not that simple. We had to do it at a special section of the forest where it was allowed. We saw many beautiful trees on the way and I started to worry. What if there were only ugly trees left in the designated place? There's nothing more important than a Christmas tree. We went quite deep in the forest and stopped. This is the place. <gasps> oh, Mr. Bennett, hello! Alright, boys, don't go further than 20 meters. If you find a good one, tell me. And remember, we need only one tree. I wonder if the tree was included in the cost of the trip. I wonder if there were wolves or a castle in this winter wonderland? Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> or if it was a Christmas present from the resort. Scott, let's go this, w let's go this way! Alright. Chris, are you coming? Ah! <laughs> My darling! I didn't get an invitation. What? I just asked you, isn't that an invitation? Right, Vince? Sure, yeah. Oh, someone is jealous because someone also has the hearts for Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go together. Together! <laughs> Vincent went first and I had to push a stubborn Chris in the back to make him move. Chris! The place was kinda small but it had a lot of trees. Lots of trees. Most had, most had good height that would fit the room. My eyes caught sight of a cute fluffy tree, but after quickly going around it, I had to admit it's not perfect. No good. Chris, of course, couldn't let my serious attitude pass. Oh, look, who's an ex- Oh, look, who's an expert here? I wanted to say something, but, uh, but notice his sly look. It seems he likes to piss me off lately. What kind of- What kind of- <coughs> Sorry. What kind of trees do you like? I'll help find one. Oh! It must be fluffy first and foremost. But not too much or it'll take a lot of space. Also, it shouldn't be too tall, though all trees here match. And and it has to be a bright color. And and it's neat and it needs to smell good. <laughs> what the heck? Scott, you have a lot of you have a lot of requirements just for a freaking tree. But it's hard to check it here in the forest. Never expected you to be that picky. It's Christmas time! 
That means it's po it's important. Everything has to be perfect. Do you do you like Christmas that much? Well, I don't want to brag. <laughs> Why, of course. Everything is magical. Even the city looks completely different and everyone smiles. Don't you like Christmas? It's not that. More like, I don't see the magic you see. Yeah, it's all beautiful, but it's also like, I'm missing something. Oh, you're missing something? Like what? You miss our little cuddle session? <laughs> we gotta change that. I promise. Oh, this is, this is the start. I promise. I promise. This time it'll be awesome. Maybe I was seeing things, but his eyes started to shine a bit. Really? I can't fail. Hmm. <laughs> no one will leave this place without their share of a Christmas miracle. What do you usually do on Christmas? For the last few years, I've gone on the school trips. I've been here before. What about your parents? I didn't give it any thought. But all kids who came here chose schoolmates instead of their families. I mean, I have my reasons. But does everyone else have family troubles too? If so, I can understand why Vince is not happy. Only now I realize that I know so little about my friends. Are you okay? Oh, sorry, I drifted off a bit. <laughs> so you've been here before? Still, still this time is going to be... What? Still, this time is going to be more fun. More fun! Sin Vince gave, gave me this smile and stopped frowning at my face. Phew! I don't need him to worry about my mood. Let's get back to the trees. What exactly are, are we looking for? Well, a tree that you like. And everyone will like too. Obviously. <laughs> what?! You too? What the hell is wrong with both of you? Wait, what did he say? I don't get any of these trees. Wait! <laughs> How can you guys not like this, these beautiful things that smell so amazingly good? Like eggs in the morning. It's not that I dislike them. I just don't see any difference. They all look the same. It simply, does, it just, it simply doesn't matter to me. He's right, of course. It's not about the tree, mostly. Rather, it's about the decorations and presents under the tree. It's all about the mood, man! It's all about the mood! But the mood will not happen in, on its own. You need to work to create it. That's what we're doing right now. Right? I'll... I'll okay, right! I'll give you a job. You gotta find a tree that will be, a, be bright, fluffy, and elegant. You'll know when you see it. It'll whisper to you. Take me, you won't regret, just like what you did in Great Troubles. <laughs> I think I think hallucinations about talking trees are not the kind of magic I like to have. Just like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand at all! S Scott, please, please, come here. How do you like that one? Aw, so cute. I match all my demands and look very tempting. I think this is the one we need. Good. Remember its occasion. We'll show it to Mr. Bennett later. I'll go look for further a bit. And my attempt didn't bear any fruit. Nothing exceptional. Looks like Vincent found the best one. I was absent or just a few moments, but something happened during that time. Chris and Vince had a- WHAT?! <laughs> at least it seemed like they were. They looked at each other with unfriendly gr glares. You're wrong! Maybe I'm wrong, but that's- But that's only because you're hiding something. Stop! Stop it! Tell me the truth! I told you everything! Please! Let's let's not continue that! Scared, huh? I'm I'm not! <laughs> oh he's blushing! He's blushing! Hey, are you fighting? They wince as if not noticing my approach. We're not we're not fighting, just arguing. It's alright. Uh did did you find something? Doesn't look like it's alright to me, but they they won't say any more any more on the topic, I guess. No. Yours is the best. I'll go ask Mr. Bennett. Speak of the devil, Mr. Bennett appeared out of nowhere! He's like a wolf! And a wolf in the forest! <laughs> Any luck? Time to time to leave. You'll have to decorate it today, too. Today, too. Turns out we won! Two guys from another class also found a good tree, but it was too big, so ours was picked. <laughs> Mr. Bennett was prepared. He brushed the snow cover off and the forest was deafened by the loud roar of his chainsaw. He meticulously looked at the tree, almost like a maniac before attacking his victim. 
The chainsaw hungrily ate, ate, the ch ate at the trunk as it roared and buzzed, spraying the sawdust on the snow. It gave me the chills. I wonder who Mr. Bennett imagines in place of poor tree. I hope it was. <laughs> and when it was finished, all we had, had left to do was to bring the tree back. <laughs> really? That's all you have to do? <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is! It looks so beautiful! <laughs> In the end, Mr. Bennett didn't let us do do the hauling, so we look at e look it easy. Ah, uh, so it took it easy. Sorry, I guess he doesn't trust us, huh? He doesn't trust us, huh? Now that she sits by the fireplace in the room, but it still lacks something. Decorations. Back, <laughs> back already? He look at the tree with interest. Hmm, good choice. Vincent found it. <laughs> I was trying to match your criteria. You could say this is your tree. Ah! ah! <laughs> All right, kids. Now you'll have to de decorate it. And no slacking this time. I I thought that was the responsibility of the resort employees. Oh come on, it's fun. Working together is not bad at all, especially if it's that simple. Now I understand why you became class representative. <laughs> I'll bring the I'll bring the decorations. Making the tree beautiful is your responsibility. You can decorate the hall too, but don't overdo it. Should we put fake presents under the tree to complete the picture? Why fake? We'll put real ones. Really? Where from? What do you mean? We've prepared presents for friends of before the trip. Haven't you prepared anything? I didn't think it was going to be so formal. Sorry guys, but I'm empty. Can't, won't, won't give any presents for your dearest friends. <laughs> Careful, Kevin. Santa might know you've been a bad boy. <laughs> Boo, yeah, you've been a bad boy. <laughs> Every time Chris and Kevin try to have a conversation, the air gets visibly tense. Have you brought anything yourself? Hey, don't you... Hey, don't ask too early, or no magic or whatever you said will happen. Aw, oh, Chris, you ass. <laughs> to be honest, I'm also empty-headed. Well, not really. <laughs> I have just one present. I didn't give it any thought before, but now when I think of it, it's strange. I always spent Christmas with mom and had to buy just a single present for her. But it's not only for it's not, it's not only that. You know, Scott, Christmas is a very special day. People spend it most with, with the most precious person on earth. <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> I have no no one more important than you. And only you will have my present. You should give me your present only to the one and you should give your present only to the one you love with all your heart. Oh really? This is gotta be good. Mom said it many times and I never doubted it. There's only one present for the most precious person. Who could be this three? Hmm? <laughs> Just by habit, I prepared only one box. But this year, I can't give it to mom. And I'm sure I won't have anything from her. She now has someone more precious. I don't know what to do. Vince, Chris, or Kevin? <gasps> Should I give it to one of the guys? Vince, Chris, or Kevin? Next year, I won't make the same mistake. <laughs> I mean, all of them are important to me. Really? All right, here are the decorations. Start with the tree. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll need more than a few. Don't worry, Mr. Bennett few Mr. Bennett's few minutes is about half an hour for the rest of the world. <laughs> How do you know that? Much better now. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it started to snow. Look! Wow! The snowflakes are so big. Let's go outside. I go to the window. Snowflakes are falling slowly and randomly, like nature is dancing. They fall, hang in the air for a moment, and then keep going their way. It's beautiful. The girls are laughing and the room is nearly decorated. I love a snowy winter. I feel a warm, tingly feeling grow inside of me, and I can almost taste the anticip anticipation of Christmas. Your dick is growing! <laughs> <laughs> and, that day, and that day on, Scott is dick grew three sizes that day <laughs> there was something i totally forgot about my bag about in my bag a small box tied with a red ribbon 
Here! Please, open it on Christmas. Tim gave it to me. <gasps> oh, it's Tim! He gave you a present! Ah, that's so beautiful! <laughs> Give it before, before the trip. I wonder what's inside. I should buy something for him too. Too. I'm glad that, that after all that happened, he, he started to trust me. Looks like he doesn't have any friends at school. The day ended so fast. I hope tomorrow will be lots of fun. <gasps> oh, hello! Nice shirt there! <laughs> Would you like to have a walk before bed? I, 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 okay, I'll go. Let's go. Okay. It's still snowing outside. Somehow, somehow the lamplight makes the snowflakes look even more magical. Looking through the window from the, from the inside is nothing compared to this. We slowly walk around the resort. Some houses have already prepared for celebration. It's getting cold and my hands are freezing. I should put them inside my pockets. Vincent is surprisingly thoughtful and quiet. Strange. He usually talks first. Um, could you remind me of tomorrow's plans? He shivers. Looks like he really went inside his own world and completely forgot about my presence. Uh, skating? Skiing? Maybe other sports? There's, there's going to be something outdoors in the evening. Probably a campfire. Do you like it here? Yeah, it's fun. What about you? I like it too. I like winter in general. It's beautiful. <laughs> I like summer better. Of course, winter is also has its good at good sides. Like Christmas. Like Christmas. It's my favorite celebration. Mm. Thinking about. It looks like you're deep deep in thought. What? Oh, oh, sorry. Uh it's nothing important. Sure. Would you like to talk about it? Sorry, I'm too ashamed of it. Oh, come on! You already talk about it in bed! Why stop now? <laughs> what? It really piqued my interest. Exactly, it piqued our interest too. Come on, tell me! No, really, it's not that important. Is he... blushing? Seriously, what's up? I made the cutest face I could. <laughs> No, don't, no, don't look at me like that. It's a secret. Meanie. <laughs> he laughs nervously. <laughs> I bet he thinks about some girl. His smile is just too shy. Scott, darling. Have you under, do you understand that he's gay? You still not understand that? He likes you! <laughs> I'm dying of curiosity, but pushing the subject further will be cruel. I hope you'll share it eventually. We're, f we're friends after all. Oh, we walk for half an hour more more, and then return to our room. The, f the halls were very quiet. I wonder if everyone fell asleep, fell asleep already. Though I'm sure I'll do it myself too. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Scott. I woke up some time ago. My phone shows it's 2am. And I can't get back to sleep no matter how much I try to. I sit for a while in my room, looking at the blizzard through through the window. It doesn't help. It's too cruel. To, it's too cruel to wake Vincent. I guess I'll take a stroll around the building. If they don't turn the lights off, it should be a beautiful in the hall. It's dark out here. The wind howls in full force. The atmosphere is creepy, to be honest. They do turn off the lights in the halls. What if someone wanted to use the bathroom? It's pitch black here. Oh, hello! Who's that? Oh, someone's there! Someone's here! My heart almost stopped. Looks like I'm not the only one who can't sleep. He stands still in front of the door. Strange. Uh, hi. Did you lock yourself out? Oh, hello! Who is this? Door... Hmm? You need to go back in your room? But the door won't open. No. Not inside. Strange boy. Should I leave him here? Are you alright? Do you need any help? Help? Oh my gosh, that, uh, that creepy gigantic eyes! Oh my god! Okay? Hm? Can you really help me? Uh, sure, just tell me what to do. Uh, sorry, I have transferred recently, so I don't know everyone yet. Uh, which class are you from? Will you help? Okay, I'm a bit creeped out now. 
Yeah, sure, uh, just tell me what you need. I'll be waiting. What? I don't understand at all. He started to run and quickly turned the corner. Hey, hey, wait! Where, where are you? I ran after him, but these, but the, the hallway is empty. It's a ghost! The first floor is empty as well. He couldn't have went outside. Did he go back in this room? And where is he going to wait? Guess I'll just sit here in the hall. If he didn't go back already, he'll have to come past me. And then you fell asleep in the hall. Did he come after all? Did he prank on me? It wasn't funny at all. He looks so innocent. Mm -hmm. I should go back. I feel sleepy. I feel sleepy.